All right, guys, so in front of me, you were looking at a really cool new accessory and one that I advise you to carry, whether it's this brand or whether it's another one. I definitely recommend that you have some type of a backup power unit in the event you need one whenever you're out camping. Now, this particular one was provided to me by Lion Energy. They are actually the same company that provided me the lithium ion phosphate batteries that I put inside of my cargo trailer. They also make this really cool jump starter air compressor USB power supply, and this has a lot of practical applications applications, especially if you're an RVer. Now we're going to talk about one of those really important applications today because we actually need to use this. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have it out of the box. It comes in a really nice nylon case. Once you open the case, you see you have your cables here. They put a good divider here as well, so you're not gonna have parts just falling out. Flip the divider over, and you have your jump starter right here. This is really cool, and it does a lot for you, especially, again, if you're into RVing. So you can use this as a jump starter, as a flashlight, as a power supply for USB devices, as an air compressor. It comes with a wall charger, as well as your cables here for jump starting, your cigarette lighter plug. This is really cool, and it does, again, a lot for you. Okay, in terms of being a jump starter, this can provide up to 480 cranking amps of power. It can be charged and depleted up to 3,500 plus times. It weighs about two pounds. And in terms of dimensions, it's only about seven and a half inches by about four inches by about 2.2 inches tall. And has a nice little rubberized case around the outside of it. But again, a lot of manufacturers make these. I really have been impressed with Lion Energy and the quality of their products, so I would definitely check them out. Plus, they did provide this to me for review and evaluation, so I definitely appreciate that. But the reason we're gonna use this today is a very common reason that a lot of RVers find themselves in whenever they're going out to hitch up their RV or to pack up or to get set up. And let's show you what that is today. All right, so we are at my buddy's Surveyor Legend. This is the one that he replaced his R-Pod with. We came out here so we could actually film the inside of it, and no power. This specific unit did not have a kill switch installed on it, so without a kill switch, there's nothing really to keep something parasitic from drawing off the battery and depleting it while it's in storage. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take this really cool Lion Energy power supply, we're gonna connect it to his battery so we have the ability to extend the slide. Okay, so we have the battery lid removed here. We are going to take the positive negative connection, connect them to the correct sides of the battery here, but you can see where it plugs directly into the side of this. And all we have to do is connect this to the battery. Okay, so we have it connected to the battery. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is actually turn it on. So you're gonna press this button here, the power button. You'll see the lights light up. I'm at 100%. I'm gonna press the jump start feature, and this one's actually gonna provide power to these two plugs. So I'll press and hold that. Okay, now you can see that we have power to the front tongue jack. So if you don't mind, can you go ahead and try to extend that slide? This uses the Schwintec slide system. So there's two small motors on each side that push it out. You can see we're connected to the battery here and it's given us the ability to extend the slide. So this is a big deal because carrying something around like this can really get you out of a bind if you're in a situation where you need power to pull your slides in, extend them, lower, raise your landing gear, or raise and lower the front power jack. So, very cool, we are fully extended. This is a really, really great little device, and it works well because it gives you a lot of capability, a lot of functionality, plus a really cool LED light here at the end that once you turn this on, of course, you can turn on and it's pretty bright. Put on flash mode, faster strobe, or turn it off. This is gonna give me a lot of extra value in terms of emergency capabilities in the event something happens and I have a dead battery because that's a very common issue with RVs. I like it because it includes everything you need to connect it. It's built by a reputable brand, Lion Energy. It's called the Cub JC. Very, very nice. So yeah, guys, this is a pretty cool system and it comes with your jump starting cables as well as the jump starter itself. The only thing about it that I'm a little critical on and I probably have to read to see if there's a way to turn it off is this auto off feature. So I'll have it on 
this engine jump mode, which powers up my cables, and then after about 30 seconds to a minute, it wants to shut off and I have to turn it back on. Not a big deal. It definitely gives me enough time to put slides in or out or raise the front tongue jack or lower it, but it is something that I would like to be able to override somehow. And it may do that just to keep a battery from potentially burning up or causing some type of an issue. But I will find out if there's a way to override that specific feature. Um, no use in really checking the air compressor at this point. The tires are filled up on the specific trailer but it's a relatively small unit and it's relatively lightweight i don't know if i would expect it to fill up any tire beyond maybe 40 or 50 pounds but that is something we'll have to check in another video anyways guys we had an immediate use for this so i figured i'd shoot a quick video showcasing how the jump starter portion of this works this is definitely something that would be a good idea to keep with you if you're going to be rving now again, this is just a brief demonstration. I didn't start a vehicle with it or anything, but from an RV perspective, it is definitely a handy item to carry around because it can get you out of a pinch if you need it for pulling in slides, putting out slides, or adjusting your landing gear. Anyways, guys, I'll put a link in the description of this video if you are interested in this product. Again, it is the Lion Energy Cub JC. Very cool little product. Okay, so while we're out here at my buddy's brand new surveyor, we went ahead and installed a power disconnect switch right here. You generally want to connect it to your ground connection. So the ground connection, everything that grounds out on his RV comes in to this disconnect. Then to continue the circuit on, you have to actually turn it to the on position right here. So when this is on, it's going to allow power to flow through the battery to the rest of the coach. When you turn it off right here, it's going to disconnect it. So the battery is now disconnected completely from the RV. He has a solar panel right here, which he's going to keep out on site. And it's just basically going to maintain the battery to prevent it from dying whenever we're out. But by disconnecting the battery, it prevents a parasitic draw from things inside the RV draining off of this battery. So now the solar panel gets to basically dedicate all of its charging power just to the battery and not running anything that might be running inside of the RV. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update on why it's important to put a disconnect switch on. Very quick install. We had to get, of course, an extra battery cable because this normally was connected directly to the battery's negative terminal. And all we did was we forced the RV negative to go into this on one side and then to complete the circuit it goes through this disconnect. And to, again, turn the battery power on, you simply turn that to the on position. So here is his old hitch. There's his new hitch. This was a two inch ball. That's a two and five sixteenths inch ball. We simply have to take these bolts off to mount the new one onto it, which we will do. He's had a lot of luck with the no sway hitch. Basically the way this works is for sway control, you have this ball assembly that's pressed into this outer collar and that creates essentially friction to keep this from turning. And the more weight you have on it, the more it's compressed in there. And it also, again, keeps it from turning easily, which creates sway control. Now there's a triangle plate under there with chains that connect back to these mounts on the side of the A-frame. That is gonna be two things. One, it's gonna keep the triangle plate fixed to the bottom of here to allow this part to work with the friction formed inside of the sleeve. And secondly, as you tighten those chains, it creates weight distribution. So the weight distribution will either pull up and kind of squeeze the frame of the travel trailer to the frame of the vehicle, thus creating kind of an arch effect. And that arch effect is your weight distribution. I think this hitch works really well on lighter travel trailers. You can put this on pretty much any size travel trailer, but in terms of sway control, it works very well on these smaller travel trailers because it gives you the maximum amount of friction while at the same time giving you really good weight distribution. Okay, so we have the new ball assembly mounted to the shank on his Anderson no sway hitch. One of the differences between this one and the previous one is on the previous one, the ball was pressed in. This one, it is still pressed in, but it's actually user serviceable. So you can take these little hex head screws out and you can service this or replace the sleeve. So the ball actually moves in here right now. Once downward pressure is put on it and once you tighten the chains, it creates that friction right there. So the ball becomes much harder to move, thus giving you your sway control. Because that triangle plate is attached to the bottom here, as the triangle plate moves, it forces the ball assembly to move. Another reason why you're not supposed to lubricate the ball on an Anderson setup. So once we get this in, triangle plate will go on, we'll tighten the chains down, and it will give us the force here necessary to provide the sway control. Okay, so we got it all connected now. Made sure everything was measured properly from the center of the ball to the back brackets. Got a solar panel up here, trickle charging the battery. 
Everything turned out really good. It is really nice having a DeWalt impact driver, or at least one that's rated up to like 600 pound feet. But this should work really well for him. One thing you'll have to keep in mind if you are upgrading to a larger ball size like he was, that this needs to be pressed down. The ball needs to be pressed in here a little bit once you put the weight of the trailer. Otherwise, the triangle plate might be a tight fit trying to actually get it in there, and that's what we experienced. So we had to essentially hammer down on this with a rubber mallet and then put the pin in and tap the pin into place. But after you drive for, you know, maybe a couple of miles, it will work that down further as this triangle plate rotates and causes the ball to essentially compress into the sleeve. Other than that though, everything is connected properly. Looks really good. Again, he now has a solar panel on his battery to keep it maintained so we don't have to worry about coming back to it with a dead battery and a slide that won't go in or out or a tongue jack that won't go up or down. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just wanted to give you a quick overview of the trailer and the fact that he is still using the Anderson hitch and he loves it. He says that it works really well for him. And that was the main reason why he went ahead and transferred the system over to his new trailer when he bought it. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.